Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Osberg501, and today I want to go over what I think is the absolute best solo build in New World. Now, this build is not only going to be incredibly strong for any solo play, but it's also going to be very good for PvP. And I made this build so it is very strong for each because a lot of the time when I'm out questing or just gathering, I usually will keep PvP on to get in some PvP fights and get that increased experience. So this build is keeping both of those in mind and it's incredibly strong for both of those things. So first off, the weapons we are going to be using, we are going to be using the Hatchet and the Great Axe. You've probably seen a lot of these because the Hatchet has so much healing and the Great Axe is just incredibly strong for its CC in PvP. So first off with the hatchet, it's actually incredibly simple. You get everything on the left side of the hatchet tree besides Frenzied Purge. You can still get this, but I personally don't use this and I rather get Critical Throw on the right side, which will give me 5% increased critical chance. So just to go through these pretty quickly, we have increased light and heavy attacks, while below 30% health, we have a 30% increased damage for your next attack after hitting three successful light attacks on the same target. We have all cooldowns reduced by 2% when hitting with any attack while your health is below 30%. We have 30% increased damage for your next four attacks after using a heavy attack. We have increased base damage by 10% for every enemy within five meters of the player. We have hitting the same target with three light attacks, grant you fortify, reducing your damage taken by 15%. And then we have Defy Death. When you would take lethal damage, you avoid death, reduce yourself to 50 health, and grant immortality for 3 seconds on a 75 second cooldown, so you can't die for 3 seconds after taking lethal damage. Then for our Berserk ability, Berserk is just a 20% damage increase. Then we get a 20% movement speed increase. Then we heal for 30% of our health over the entire duration. Then we remove all crowd control effects when we use Berserk. Then Berserk makes us uninterruptible not unceasable just uninterruptible so if we get hit our attacks still go through then we have feral rush which does a little jump then does two hits that both do decent damage then we deal more damage if the target is below 30 percent then we immobilize the target if we hit them in the back which roots them for two seconds then we have raging torrent which has four attacks that all deal 90 percent weapon damage then we get a movement speed buff when we hit a target with Raging Torrent, and then we can press the light attack button at the end of our Raging Torrent to do an additional 120% weapon damage. Now my Great X build is a little bit weird and you can change these up how you want, but I think this has worked out best for me. So for the passives on the left side, we have a stacking damage buff off light attacks, which gives us 15% at max stacks. We penetrate 10% more armor when foes are below 50% health. Our attacks crit 15% more often against enemies below 30% health. When we crit with our Great Axe, we heal for 10% of the damage done. This can actually heal us for a ton. Our critical damage is increased by 10%. Our attacks made on foes below 30% heal us for 10% of the damage. So just a ton of additional healing. The Great Axe can actually heal a ton off of attacks. Then on the right side, we have heavy pull. Heavy attacks with a great axe pull foes closer to you. We add grit to our heavy attacks and get 20% damage reduction when we're heavy attacking. So grit is we just can't be interrupted. We gain 10% damage absorption when three or more enemies are close to us. So that's damage reduction. And we gain 10% increased damage when three or more enemies are close to us. So then on the right side, we have gravity well, which is essentially just ability that pulls in enemies to the center. If players get caught in it, they can't roll out. Out, then it blows up and deals some weapon damage. This is one of the main reasons the Great Axe is so good at this ability. Then we get 10% increased damage for each foe caught in the vortex. Then on the left side, we have charge. You just charge and deal an attack if you hit something. And then we have increased damage for this charge depending on how far you travel. Then we have Reap, which pulls an enemy to us and deals a good amount of damage. Then we have increased the range of Reap. Then we heal for 30% of the damage by Reap. And then we also do a spinning attack after we cast Reap that does another 115% weapon damage. And something to note, this spin attack also heals us because it's considered part of Reap. So it essentially doubles the heal healing and damage we're getting from reap then for our ultimate we have bloodlust which is incredibly strong when you're pointed at an enemy and within 15 meters of an enemy you move 30 percent faster and deal 15 percent more damage so 
if you're in combat with a player looking at them, you're always going to have Bloodlust up. This is incredibly strong for chasing as well because you're going to catch up with them because you have this constant speed boost. Next up, we have our attributes, and the first thing you're going to want to do is get at least 100 in Constitution, because the first bubble makes you heal for 20% more with all consumables, that's food and potions, which is incredibly strong. Then the second bubble gives you 10% increase of max health based off of your physical armor. So this will give you a big chunk of increased health. Now, right now, past getting those two bubbles in Constitution, I'm going all the way into Strength, and I currently have 250 Strength. Now, if you feel like you're too squishy and you can't stay alive or you're losing fights because you're too squishy, you can take some points out of strength and just get more points into constitution. The third bubble for constitution is very good as well. You take 10% less critical damage and that's pretty much the only decisions you have to make. Are you not tanky enough? Put more points into constitution. If you feel like you're tanky enough, put more points into strength to deal more damage. Now for me, gearing has been incredibly easy. For our armor pieces, I just went with strength on every single piece. I'm not that well geared, I'm still leveling up. Once I get up to 60, then I'm going to start optimizing, trying to get better perks and stuff like that. But most people aren't 60, and this isn't really a 60 endgame build. So the main thing you're going to want is strength on everything. Now you can get some constitution on your pieces, like I said, if you're not feeling tanky enough, but I just went full strength on everything. And that's that's the main thing. I wasn't actually looking for any perks or anything like that. I'm mainly just getting good pieces with a lot of strength on them. And then for our equip load, I'm actually using light. Now the main reason for sticking with light is to keep the dodge roll so I can dodge roll cancel, which if you don't know what that is, if you roll and either sheath or unsheath your weapon or switch weapons, it will animation cancel the roll and make you move faster because normally at the end of a roll, it has a little stop at the end, which slows you down a lot. If you do what I just mentioned, it removes that and makes you move much faster. If someone else isn't doing those roll canceling, I can catch anybody in the game really easily. Then for our weapons pretty much a similar thing i'm just going with the highest strength i can find and then for perks on weapons it's pretty much anything that's going to give you increased damage now for the great axe if you can get any critical strike chance increase it's going to be incredibly strong for the great axe because like we went over we heal off of crits so the more we can crit the more we're going to be healing and you can actually heal a ton off of just critting with your great axe and then for our accessories I don't really have the best accessories, but my jewelry just has constitution. None of the perks on this are really that good. On my ring, I have constitution and luck, and I would recommend getting this weaver's knot. It's incredibly good. Good constitution, so you're tankier, and two rolls of luck on it. This is actually from a quest in Weaver's Den. Really easy quest to do if you're at that level, and I recommend getting this. And then I just have a strength jewelry piece that also gives me cooldown reduction every Every time I roll, which does synergize really well with me staying in light load equipped so I can spam roll. So that is pretty much the entirety of this build. This is easily one of the best solo builds you can get in the game right now, and it's still incredibly strong in PvP as well. You're so good in solo because you have all that healing from your great axe, just from critting or damaging enemies at low health. You heal off of your reap, which in an AoE situation, you can full heal yourself if you hit a bunch of enemies with reap. Then you have your hatchet that you can pop berserk and get 30% of your health back while also doing a ton more damage and being super speed then you have a ton of good movement speed with your rolls with your light equip load with your charge on your great axe and then with your berserk that gives you a movement speed increase off of your hatchet and like i said this is still a leveling build i am still leveling it's more focused on solo while still being able to be strong in pvp i will be doing builds once i hit level 60 and start gearing up that will have more specific gear pieces more specific weapons and more specific statting but while you're leveling you can and I just got to take what you get sometimes. So that's the entirety of the build. So subscribe if you want to see more New World or other MMO videos. Leave a like if you liked the video. Leave a comment down below what you guys think about this build. And thanks for watching.
Thank <laughs> you. 